Welcome in everybody to T to Green here online and also on the air. Brian Colzio along with PGA Pro Pat Phillips from Woods to Wedges inside the Whirly Golf Dome. Woods to Wedges, one of our proud partnering sponsors here on our T to Green show. We like to catch up with Pat uh, throughout our golf season and out our golf show to get you the latest on what's going on over inside the Whirly Golf Dome at Woods to Wedges. Pat, thanks for joining us. I know when we spoke about a month ago, it was a busy time. Uh, for you. And uh, it's continuing to be a busy golf start to the summer here. Um, people coming in, kind of getting mid-season maintenance with their clubs. And I know that's kind of maybe something that you guys would suggest doing for golfers right now that are planning on playing a lot of rounds this summer. Yeah, absolutely. There's a, there's a lot of regripping being done right now. There's a lot of, a lot of golf being played and Donna has uh, a, a ton of options for grips. She keeps ordering more because the uh, that was one of the things that like with some of the manufacturers hard to get grips. So uh, she's loaded up on them and, and we're she's been going full bore with the uh, regripping. And uh, it's important to have a good grip on the club. You know, I gave a lesson to a, a woman yesterday and I picked up the club and it was like, it was like dry rod is like, I would tell her, you need new grips on here. You, know? you gotta be able to hold on to the club. If you can't hold on to the club, you know, you can't expect to hit really good shots with that. Right. I mean, absolutely. I mean, when you, yeah, I, I brought in my putter a few weeks ago to see you guys, and, and Donna got us a new grip. Uh, there's so many options for grips now, Pat, that it's not just one, you know, it's just not one in, one out. I mean, there, there's such a variety, including putter, which I had mine regripped. So let's maybe talk a little bit about that. Um, we're seeing guys on tour now with the huge grips on the putters, the super size ones. Um, I got one that was tapered, but a little. I, I guess, I don't know if you described it maybe as kind of like medium and thickness and that sort of thing. And then of course there's kind of the traditional style, but what are some of the options you have if you're going to regrip a putter? Yeah, there's, there's a lot of different, it's such a personal preference with, with grips these days, you know, and a lot of times the, what, what these, what the tour pros are using the, the larger grips for is that is to really take the hands and wrists out of the, out of the stroke, you know? So some people like to have the traditional si size grip on there. So they have a little more feel for the, for the putter. I think that's one thing that happens when you get a big grip. It just you're just trying to get this pendulum stroke, and you don't want any hands in, involved in it at all. So different style putters are require different style grips, you know. And uh, it's a lot of preference too. They, you, when you pick up a, a grip, there's so many different shapes. You 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 were there and you were picking them up, and you can tell there's different shapes. There's pistol. There's just the the round ones. There's you know flat ones and square ones. It's just it's crazy, but. It, it really is just a, a lot of a, a preference and based on what you're trying to, to accomplish with the stroke of the, of the putter. So. How do you know when your clubs need regripping? Like, I, I get, obviously if it's fraying on you, like, yeah, that's obvious, but just, I mean, how often should it be done? How, how many rounds does somebody need to play before you would say, yeah, that should, they should be regripped. Yeah. I mean, if, if you're taking care of the grips and wiping them down, they, they might last a little longer. If you're, if you're a person that plays an awful lot of golf, then you probably get them done every year. You know, um, if you're the, you're, you're the occasional golfer that just plays 10 times a year, you know, and you're, you, you probably get them done two or three years, you know. Um, but a lot of the, a lot of it is just how the grip feels, right. If it's, if it's starting to get dry rotted or it's starting to feel like it's you're, you're you're losing some control over the club with it, then, then it's time. So people are surprised after they get like, Oh, you know, it feels like a new club when you're playing now. Cause yeah. they, they don't realize that the grip is so worn that they're losing control of the face and the face, you know, the club could be twisting. If you hit it off the toe or something like that, the, the, the club will have a, a tendency to twist open on you a little bit more. And if you don't have a good grip on it. That's right. Pat Phillips, PGA pro from woods to wedges joining us here on TD green. Uh, Pat, when we spoke a month or so ago, we know the golf industry booming in a good way, but equipment and some new clubs that people may be wanting to purchase, it was kind of taking a little longer than maybe normal just because of the, the demand was so high. I know, though, that you guys have gotten some new orders in and some new options. So for people that are maybe looking to come in, uh, if the thought process is, ah, this is going to take a long time, like there, there are some ways to maybe make it a little quicker right now. Yeah, that's true. Uh, we, we have uh, ordered... Uh, uh, a, a really good supply of drivers, fairway woods. Uh, Kevin Hofstetter has been at it. He's ordering all kinds of things. And, and we've got a lot of sets of irons that are in the back that are uh, ungripped and, and uncut. So we could, we could actually customize them there. We have different shaft, shaft options in house. So 
before if we had a custom order we would just we just put it out the order and that would it would come in seven to ten days you know that was pre-covid days uh now it's taking you know four to six weeks to get to get your irons if it's custom so kevin kind of did a, a really good job of just trying to get different flexes different weights you know in uh and that's what we kind of do when we're fitting. We're trying to get the right weight, the right flex shaft for you. And so we have a bunch of options options in there now that we never had before. So a lot of times now we can get somebody leaving with the with a set of irons and always with a driver. We can well not always, but most times with a driver we could uh, we could send you home with it that day. So that yeah. that part of it's been been really good. Um, people are still coming in, getting fit, and lessons are going crazy so it's it's been a it's a good year yeah for those that haven't been to woods to wedges this recently uh, maybe in the within the last year just a, it's a whole new renovated store uh new hitting bays a putting area and a, just a gorgeous wall uh with all the different clubs and shafts that are up there and then in the lights pat that it's yeah. <laughs> even yeah. if i walk in i'm like i don't need new clubs but boy that looks pretty and you, you, your eyes go right to it it's a it's yeah. a really nice look when you walk in yeah, it's it's uh, what, what I guess when you look at that, people what, what could can I realize like uh, maybe I shouldn't just go right to the rack and buy a set of, of clubs <laughs> off the wall, you know? I mean, certain levels of golfers that that's fine with, you know what I mean? But uh, but most times if you you can get a, a really good fit club, and it'll help your game a lot. It's it's amazing when you go through a fitting process, you know, when you know you're hitting this club, you hit Mizuno, you hit Callaway, you hit Titleist, and then. And you just kind of get to one that you really like, you know, so there's even just to the point of like, we always tell people to kind of look at the, you know, pay attention to the look, the sound, the feel, the weight of the club. Cause a lot of these clubs, let's be honest. I mean, that they're, they're going to do the same thing. You know, they're all designed, these game improvement items, especially they're designed to get the ball high and go farther. Mm-hmm. And it, then it gets to a point where that we just let the customer just decide this and this is, this one feels better, looks better. And TrackMan kind of tells us they're they're performing similarly, and uh, and that's how we uh, we get to a, a good fit to somebody. Yeah, well, we uh, let, let's finish with this here. I, I know we always on the show talk about how you know we love coming to Woods to Wedges. You guys do a great job with fitting and and cu- customizing everyone's game to kind of fit the proper equipment. But you know, for as much as as myself and Kevin Sylvester and Jeff Metis love to promote it. It is cool when a national publication gives you a little honor, Pat. I know Golf Digest uh, just recently gave Woods to Wedges a great honor. It's true. Yeah, we uh, we're honored for that too. It's uh, we made the top 100 fitters in the in the country, um, which was you know it was unsolicited for us. You know that's that's uh, determined by a, a panel of, uh, of judges for them. They you know the industry leaders, the the the, the uh, vendors reps they, they they all have a hand in that you know kind of suggesting and uh so it, it's been been a good thing you know, we we have such technology that's one of the things that they look at when they they want to put you on a, a fitter list you know you, you, they, they want to know your processes and how you're doing things and so it's uh it, it's nice to be recognized for that you know we, we work hard over there and we've been doing a ton of fittings and uh and when people leave there they're really they're really happy with their new clubs you know yeah so, well, congrats. Really I, Thank you. Just personally, I know uh, you guys do a wonderful job, Donna and, and Pat and Kevin and Dave and the whole crew over there. Um, you know, we talked about regripping. You want to get fit. You can get lessons. You can sign up, obviously, to go into their hitting studios. You can do the Sam Putt Lab. There's a whole bunch of options or just go in and peruse around. There's a whole bunch of fun stuff to look at there. Uh, website is woods to wedges buffalo.com. You can check it out there or go in and see. Uh, any of the people over there at Woods to Wedges, they'll take care of you very well. Pat, thanks so much. Appreciate it. We'll talk again soon on the show. Always a pleasure, Brian. Thanks for having us. All right.